welcome to KK Handic State Open University. I myself, Riti Muni Bodului, Assistant Professor in the Department of Education of this university. Today, I am going to deliver a lecture on the topic on Exxon Research and its relevance why Exxon Research is important in the today in the field of research. Actually, before going to uh, deliver on lecture on Exxon Research, we should each of we know what is research, why research is important. Research means to search for something new, for understanding the truth of acquisition of knowledge to particular things. It is important to find out the solution of a problem in a particular situation. It may be in a social subject or a source, it may be in pure scientific subject or it may be historical subject and so on. Nature of research, if we go to give a focus on what are the nature of the research, what should be the nature of the research, then it may be uh, come into the, kept into our mind that research always should be very scientific and empirical in nature. Uh, there must be uh, two things, it must be consist, it must be valid, it must be reliable. And flexibility is another criteria, another nature of the research. And uh, research, actually, it requires expertise. And uh, a researcher must have the basic understanding how to proceed the research and the uh, realization of topic, what he or she is likely to choose for conduct. Research gather, gathering involves gathering the both primary and secondary data. It must have the relationship between the two or more variables. If we uh, go to what are the uh, step of general research, then everyone must have kept in mind some criteria that includes selecting an area or finding an area and then identifying the problem and we must have the realization on the topic or the problem and then uh, for uh, go through the go through the uh, problem for uh, study we have must to uh, collect some review of related literature and we then we have to use some methodology for conducting the research after that we have to explain and interpret of the data and then drawing the conclusion and this conclusion must help to make the policy or uh, for or in the policy making process it must be help after knowing the step of research then we have to know what are the type of research basically a research considered into two types one is basic or fundamental research it may be called as pure research and another research is exon or applied research. Basic or uh, fundamental research uh, requires universal validity, originality, imagination, and inventiveness. It is a pure, it must be pure. And exon research is also called as applied research that indicates immediate application for immediate solution of a problem. Although exon research is also known as applied research, but there is a slight difference. Applied research can be used to prove the practical problems in a wider context, while the exon research to, is to be used to prove the problem into the classroom situation. It is a narrow context. It may be a classroom. It may be a uh, particular in particular uh, it narrow uh, a, a narrow range of situation. Applied exon research can be very effective for used. Then uh, exon research actually helps a practitioner to perceive a problem, to understand and assess the situation, working out possible regions, felicitate a systematic analysis and find out the alternative strategies for overcoming the unsatisfactory condition within a short period of time. The, uh, for uh, conducting the exon research, the practitioner may be a classroom teacher, a principal, a headmaster or a school, a block education officer, 
program officer of education, a teacher educator at the diet and the teacher's training institution, etc. Action research is only for the professional development of the teacher. It is very useful for a teacher for improving the effectiveness of the teaching learning process in our education system. Action research is conducted to require the remedial measures in order to remove the unsatisfactory conditions that arise while functioning of the school. It can be used to solve the academic and other related problems in the school. Excellent research is done when the problem is specific and, and has the clear vision. Excellent research is undertaken for identifying and understanding the needs of the learners. For example, in a particular classroom, a teacher makes his or her best effort to develop competency in the subject, say English, of a student, but the effort could not bring the required success. Even the teacher is not able to identify the cause or the reasons for the non-performance of the student in that subject. So in this case, the teacher may undertake action research. Already we have discussed uh, types of research and particularly whenever we are going to uh, focus on action research then uh, under the action research it has also various types uh, say uh, single teaser or individual uh, action plan. Uh, previous example uh, already we have discussed that uh, whenever we teaser uh, um, uh, makes several effort to develop competence in the subject of English but uh, uh, teacher is not able to bring the success of the student then he can uh, require and then he, he can uh, uh, identify uh, he can identify the problems and the reasons behind the failure of the subject English of the particular student with the help of the action research. Then after the single teacher individual action research action plan then another type of action research is collaboration action plan. This plan stress in identifying a common problem involved one classroom or shared by many classrooms and then plan accordingly for deriving the solution of the particular problem or its improvement. Say, make functional literacy among girls from class 1 to 4 of a school. Collaborative action plan can be undertaken. Another type of action research is school-wide action research. This focuses a common issue or a problem of a school. Like say, lack of parental involvement in the school activities. Improving the performance in the school are the common issues which is undertaken by this research. In this research, the staff of the school work together as a team. After uh, uh, school-wide external research, another type of external research is district-wide external research. Issues are mainly uh, uh, community-based, performance-based or process for decision-making. A district may choose to address a problem which is common to several schools in a particular district. It requires the involvement of type near teachers training institute, near colleges, etc. For contacting action research, uh, some other topic may be used by the practitioner for who would like to want or pursue action research for solving the problem. Say, study the reason for dropout from the classroom and how to motivate the students to enroll. The role of the teacher to make the children as functional literate, considering education is a fundamental right to find out the effectiveness of teacher in their teaching. Various programs undertaken by SSA can be evaluated or assessed through the exercises for empowering the teacher, enhancement of the capacity of the teacher, bring out improvement in the education system, exercises can be applied. Then, uh, what are the steps that should be strictly followed for doing the external research? I, I think uh, for external research, it is very flexible. The step must be fle flexible in nature. Besides, uh, some particular uh, uh, steps should be followed. Say, for uh, doing the external research, the problem must be identified, then define, then analyze and explain the problem, 
then stating the problem, causes of the problem, formulating the hypothesis, gathering the data, planning, organizing, implementation and evaluation, drawing conclusion and taking decision and sharing the results, evaluating the results in order to make it better from time to time. Thus, the Exxon research is a methodology, it's a methodology only which can be used by a teacher as an Exxon researcher or a practitioner in order to uh, bring out the improvement in the education system. The uh, key motto of this research is to bring about critical awareness, improvement and sense in a practice setting or a system. Reflection, planning and action are the three elements of this research. It should be rightly stated within the action research process, teacher may choose to focus their study on one student or a small group of students, a class or a several classes or as a whole this in the school. Thank you.